plastic folder lying on the floor. It must have been in the safe. A bundle of keys, too. With a little gun as a key fob. I'll have the folder and keys. Hmm. A bank statement and a technical drawing. The statement shows that the factory has received a large amount of money from St. Michael, account number three. Very interesting. What was that noise? Sounded like a big machine, boss. A big machine? I know that, you idiot, but what did it do? Dunno, boss. Find the girl, but watch out. That maniac's gotta be around somewhere. Vito, go out and stay in the hall. Don't let him use the elevator. Yes, boss. They're in the big hall. Time to get out of here. There's a guard on the elevator room. Bus? Is that you? Stay by the elevator door, Vito. Yes, bus. A lot of oil on the floor around the catch. It's slippery now, all right. Releasing the door. Who's there? Locked. Bus, help me. Time to get out of there. You better not have left the key in the lift, Vito. Come on, bus. I ain't that stupid. <laughs> You're so stupid. You don't even know how stupid you are. Phew. That was close. A screw up. What you talking about? The boss isn't very happy about this, Mr. Fingers. What you mean, the boss? I am the boss. That's not what Mr. Spalacci says. He wants to speak to you himself. Just putting him on now, Mr. Spalacci. After that, I flew straight back here. So the Order of St. Michael funded the whole Phoenix operation? And Anna Maria ran it. What happened to the gold? Maynard didn't know. You think Anna Maria does? Did. Remember, she wanted you to help her find a missing treasure. Treasure? Exactly. But what kind? What, the elixir of life? Some kind of wonder cure for every illness? Or a weapon. No. No, Maynard was crazy. You can't believe him. Why should he lie? Anna Maria wouldn't have got mixed up in- Maynard was vaporized. That powder, the gold, it's a fuel, Georges. Fuel for a weapon. Believe me. Well now, I've made a lovely pot of tea. We need to go back and check out the monastery. Oh? Oh, what's happened? Let me come with you. Sorry, Mark. You better leave this to us. 
I can handle myself. It could be dangerous. We need you here, in case something goes wrong. I always miss the fun. We're not in this for the fun, Mark. Come on, Nico. Let's go. The square's lifeless. Perfect conditions for sneaking in. Next to Archie is a near-empty bottle of maths. Can he really be drinking that stuff? Or yeah, maybe he's working part-time as a painter. Hello, Archie. How you doing? Who's that, then? Well, it's me, George Stobart, from the apartment block. My dear boy, what a pleasure to see you again. Giles, isn't it? I never forget a face. Just names, huh? So, what brings you down this way? Well, in my line of work, you've got to keep moving. Work? I'm writing a book, you see. Oh, what's it called? Tipples Round the Globe. Kid's story, huh? Little cat, maybe, on a boat with some animal chums. Dear me, no. Encyclopedia of booze, country by country. You haven't got very far, then. Can't see straight enough to write. Hmm, wonder why that is. Damned if I know. So how did Brother Mark deal with the bird droppings? Ha! <laughs> that was damn funny, Godfrey. Haven't laughed so much in years. So was he angry? Not until you left. Then he went into a right old paddy, attacked me with his broom. Really? I spent the whole day picking the bristles out of my... Ah, well, all in a good cause. You sure do have a thing for my friend there. She's a fine woman. Curvy. Voluptuous. Lovely soft edges. Huh? What's with the maths? What comes after Macon? It does. The alphabet of booze. Macon and maths. Bouton. Oh, I see. You're not drinking it. You're just tasting. Somebody's got him. But how come he's still alive? That's a moot point, Jeffrey, old fella. How would you like to do a trade for your maths? Well, it depends on what you've got to trade. Can I interest you in this one-of-a-kind telescopic golf club? Do I look like a man who has the time to play golf? Time, yes. Inclination, no. Bang on, Garfield! Take a look at this. Isn't it beautiful? It looks like cheap tourist tat to me, old boy. It's an original rosary from the 16th century. Hmm. You think it'd keep my trousers up? I doubt it, Archie. What would you say to this vintage salami, Archie? I'd say beggar off. Damn stuff gives me wind. I know the feeling. Chap who moves in my kind of circles can't afford to have glitches in the old body odor department. Of course. Have you seen this? It's a vintage red from inside the Vatican. You call out a bottle? It's travel size. I wouldn't travel across the road for that. You like wine, don't you? I've been known to have the odd drop. What do you make of this? It's a vintage red from inside the Vatican. What kind of bottle do you call that? It's travel size. Well, it wasn't worth the trip, if you ask me. Cheers, Archie. Hey, Nico. You got a minute? Sure. What do you need? You know, Archie's pretty taken with you. He knows a good thing when he sees it. You kidding? He can hardly see beyond his bottle. George, sarcasm is... One of the Stobart charms, I know. Don't fight it. The Holy Order of St. Michael. That's where Anna Maria was working. Oh yeah, that's the door in the photo. The one where she's a nun. Hey, she wasn't a nun when I met her, okay? So, is that where we're going? No, it's heavily guarded, inside and out. We can't get in that way. We're going in through the wafer factory. We need to find a way into the wafer factory. Well, what did you do last time? Rang the bell, turned on the old charm, and I was in. Somehow, I think they'll all be in bed by now. Plus, they'll remember who I am. Well then, we'll just have to improvise. Oh, thanks, Nico.
Hey, a half-full bottle of Krug champagne. Vatican, party city. Hey, Archie, can you spare a minute? That's all I can spare, old boy. Look what I just found. A legit bottle of Krug. The best champagne in the world. I'd give my right arm for that. Ah, it reminds me of the old days. Christmas tree lights, Father Thames, twinkling, plateful of shepherd's pie, the great and the good. Where are they now, eh? Where are they now? How would you like to do a trade for your mess? Well, it depends on what you've got to trade. How about the bottle of Krug for your mess? You've got yourself a deal, Mr. Stubbles. Hand it over and let the good times roll. <laughs> Enjoy the mess, rather on the sweet side for my taste, as it happens. Cheers, Archie. The Meths are mine. I can feel the arsonist in me coming back to the surface. Oh, the smell of the meths makes my eyes sting. Well, here goes. The guards will be coming any moment. Time to hide. Emergency. Emergency. The bin is burning. The bin is burning. Now that the guards have their hands full, I can get inside unnoticed. Locked. Not to be expected, really. So, a secret room containing a secret machine. What are you talking about? This is our backup machine for special orders. Now, how did you get in here? And do I have to call the Swiss Guard before you'll leave? I think the sister and I need to have ourselves a little chat. What are you planning to do? Let's just say we need to get sisterly. You check around in here. It won't take long. Good luck. Oh, uh, you too, sister. You're gonna need it. A batch of wafers cooling down on the conveyor. Hmm, they smell good. Well, no one's watching. I'll have one. Hmm, pretty good. I'm sure another wouldn't do any harm. Now, what do these buttons do? This wafer making business is trickier than it looks. After my last attempt at wafer production, I'd better leave it to the experts. Something in the darkness. No, it can't be. At the base of the mixing vats, traces of gold dust. It's monatomic gold. But what's this stuff doing near a wafer making machine?
Huh? I can hear Nico returning with Sister Angelica. I think she'll cooperate now. Won't you, Sister? So, this wafer machine, what's it for? Special orders. I think for Il Papa himself. And what makes them special? The holy powder, of course. As a matter of fact, we've just finished a run tonight. Why is this machine used only for special orders? Why doesn't every wafer have the holy powder? If every wafer had it, it wouldn't be special, would it? Careful, sister. Don't you think it's a bit strange having a special powder to make a special batch of wafers? I just do what I'm told. What's happened, George? I found traces of monatomic gold in this machine. But why would the church be putting gold into communion wafers? One thing's for sure, it's not to protect their teeth. Where's the rest of this holy powder? I have no idea. A batch came in and left almost immediately. It's being used for something else, I suppose. Someone's coming. But no one uses the factory at night. Quickly, shut the doors. It's Cardinal Gianelli. I don't think he's catching up on his paperwork. That's very odd. He never uses the factory entrance. I think we need to follow him. Um, what should I do? Stay here and pray for forgiveness. Look, Nico, there he is. Considering he's the boss, he looks pretty shifty. He must be headed for the offices. I'll go across the garden. You wait under those trees. Once I'm safely across, you join me. Sure thing, Georges. What took you so long, Georges? What the? You know me. I'm not one to hang around. That's what I've always liked about you, Nico. A fast mover. Devlin's office door is slightly open. 
I can hear movement inside. There's someone in there. Shh. Hey, Nico, take a look. Those are Devlin's files. What's he up to? Correct me if I'm wrong here, Cardinal, but isn't that somebody else's safe? Or do you just not give a damn any longer? You! Haven't you done enough damage? No, oh, we've only just started. And we don't have much time. Where's the weapon? <laughs> you ask me? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. Yes, Your Eminence, don't pretend. Good timing, guys. So it is true, Monsignor Devlin. You and the Americans were working together all along. Once again, Your Eminence, you fail to understand what is happening in front of your own eyes. We were working with Americans, but not this one. We must all be prepared to die for our faith. May the Lord forgive me. Ginelli was weak. He refused to let us build the weapon. But the weapon is our destiny! God granted it to the Order hundreds of years ago to smite the infidel when the time was right. And the time is right now, but Ginelli wouldn't listen. He was going to stop us. Fortunately, we found you in time. We couldn't have done it without you, Mr. Stobart. You translated the manuscripts, found the cherub, and even stopped the Cardinal for us tonight. Remarkable. Oh, any time. So... What happens now? We change the course of the world. And if we hadn't turned up when we did, he might have been able to stop us. But why? He betrayed the Order two years ago by forbidding us to use the Ark. Only Father Gregor and I have the strength to fulfill the Order's destiny. To smite the infidel and prove the righteousness of the One Faith. You mean kill everyone who hasn't taken on religion? It is our calling. So what happens now? We can use her, but we don't need him. You're right. Take her downstairs. Well, what happens to me? You're going to a much better place. Wake up, George. Wake up. Oh, where's my wheelbarrow? What? I'm so sick and tired of being knocked out. All part of the job, I guess, for you. Mark? How did you get here? Abseiling's not as dangerous as it looks. So I see. I've been training all my life for this moment, George. Where's Nico? I don't know. He's alive. You must stop them. Nobody else here knows about this. Only you. But what are they doing? Where are they? They have the Ark. The Ark? And they have the gold to power it. I tried to stop them. You use the Mafia? God will forgive me. But the girl, Anna Maria, she was too clever for me. For me too. But your eminence, what will the Ark do? The Angel of Death will rise up and destroy the unbelievers for miles around. Only those whose faith is true will be saved. Devlin believes it will show the world that there is only one true God. He wants to start a worldwide crusade. Where is he? And where's Nico? You must stop him. Here. Take the manuscript. Find the Ark. Find the Ark. And stop him. He's dead. We have to find Nico. Now, Gregor said something about downstairs. The second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No Malmut can follow Templar or Hospitaller of lowly breed 
Malmuk must follow Turk to escape the assassin, sidestep to right. Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back. Three images of Jesus with the cross, carrying, putting it down, and the actual crucifixion. Ark of Ashdod, depicting the slaughter of the innocents. I have to stop the same thing happening again here and now. Described in the book of Samuel, it depicts the power of the Ark of the Covenant devastating the populace of Ashdod. Mark, this weapon, the Ark, it must be what Gregor and Devlin plan to unleash. Holy Mother of God! George, we must stop them! Painted in the left corner is a depiction of an angel carved into the frame. And there's a crack around her neck. There's a lock on the inside of the trap doors, but I need to get to it. Try and hold these doors open a little for me, would you? I'll oh, give it a go. Well done, Mark. We make quite a good team. Funny. In my dreams, there was always a beautiful blonde cheering me on at a moment like this. A blonde, as in blonde girl? Of course. Oh, well, I thought you were, well, you know. What, George? Why, well, I, I kind of thought you didn't, well, have those feelings uh, for uh, women. George, I may wear the garb of a priest, but inside there still beats the heart of a hot-blooded male. The head of the angel looks pretty menacing. Around its neck there's a groove as if the head can be removed. The hourglass is turnable. Now, which way should I turn it? Now, which way should I turn it? The angel's head clicks back into place. The 
the angel's head clicks back into place. Now which way should I turn it? Where should I turn it? Now which way should I turn it? The angel's head clicks back into place. Now which way should I turn it? Satisfying click. It looks like the head is now locked in place. As I move the angel's head back, a stone slab in the floor slides backwards. As I let go of the angel's head, the door shuts again. That's too quick for me to make it through in time. Mark, I need you to do something for me. I want you to hold the angel's head back so I can go through the door. That means I won't be able to come with you. Where I'm going is no place for a priest. But George, I studied Tai Chi, Jiu Jitsu, Korean kickboxing. I know the SAS handbook backwards. I've seen every Bond movie ever made. And I can hold my breath underwater for two minutes. Whoa, two minutes? How'd you do that? Vatican diving team champion, two years running. Cool. So, can I come? Sorry, Mark. Be careful, George! 